Hello and welcome to another how-to video. Just before we get to that, I wanted to discuss a couple things. You'll notice these are two AT-AT walkers. Um, they're both the same year. They're the 1997 Power of the Force walkers. But uh, you'll notice there's a difference in their manufacture. And so many people have noted this before, just uh, the way some of them are painted. So you notice this background one is literally a darker gray color in its material. It also has uh, more of this black splatter texture to it. And of course, uh, this version does. It's, this version is fairly plain. And of course, uh, this version has a lot more of like a black splatter texture to it. It's, it seems to be a difference in just uh, model runs. So starting with the head, disassembly is fairly straightforward. There's one, two, three, and if you tilt this canopy, which I'll take off here shortly, open four, five screws that we take out and it'll split this canopy apart. So you notice with removal of just those screws, we now have a half split canopy. And uh, from here, what we'll do is we'll just take this insides apart. So just to give us a little idea, and of course everybody that does this says the same thing, it's hard to work with the camera in one hand, so we'll just set the camera up in front of us. This secondary half just slides right off, like so. We'll set that aside, which leaves us, see the electronics come through this tongue down into here, and there are one, two, three screws that will hold this shell, shell on. In the meantime, this little console just pulls right up and out, and that reveals the seats that uh, both the driver and the commander can sit in. So we just remove these three screws. And uh, it opens up this entire set of electronic works. So uh, that's just the canopy section here. Now this can get a little messy because this uh, wiring runs all the way through. You'll see the hole here, up into here, underneath of this body, and then up uh, into the, the console. So those that have like the 1981 version that took the the D batteries on the inside here, essentially what they've done is they just retrofitted that with some accessories and they've put in this little display console with buttons. But this is the original section where the D batteries used to sit in these. And so just keeping with our disassembly, we're just gonna take this, since we took the screws out, set it aside. We're interested in these one, we're gonna set these racking gears aside. So we're interested in this screw and these two small ones here, which hold the lights in place. And then essentially this frees this whole section up and we'll take it out through this hole here. And we'll separate these screws out just a little bit. So it may be helpful to remember, um, red in this case is right and yellow is left. So red is right, yellow is left. That'll be your orientation when you put this back together. What we'll just do is we'll pull these kind of up and out. And then nicely, they provided a couple groove slots here and a piece of tape, which you can replace if you, if you want to whenever you put it back together. We're just gonna try to leave it intact as best we can. And we'll pull these wires just gently up out of their slots and we'll see that that brings this lower section out of the way. We'll put it off to the side. We'll put the racking gears and the center gear in it. And then uh, what we'll do with this, we'll take these LEDs out of their clear housings because we're going to wash these as well. We'll stick them in this section. And all we'll do is we'll just work this circuit board. We'll just work it up and through and pull these lights back through. And 
that gives us our seats with the screws off to the side and now our head is taken off we get a little bit easier so we'll we'll show you a tip here so this is what your uh, chin gun mechanisms go up against you can see how dirty this is and where it's been hit a number of times and we'll show you a little bit later but we're just going to hit this with an al alcohol and a swab to clean these up uh, and you'll find that that makes better contact now you don't have to rack the chin guns so hard so just continuing with disassembly on this back side, this nice plastic is not overly brittle. We'll just bend the door a little bit, take it out of its latch, set it off to the side. And then uh, what you'll find is that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws that hold this upper section to this lower chassis. So all we're gonna do is just take those eight screws out and separate the upper and lower chassis. So with those eight screws out of the way, you'll notice that this upper chassis just lifts right off. And uh, you saw our back section comes right up and comes contingent with some hair and some dust. And uh, in this section, you'll see that this front uh, mechanic that moves the head and the neck, we have three screws. We'll take this apart as well. And then there's actually a secondary part to this, this floor to this chassis that we'll take off and uh, that'll get us to this console and literally will almost be 100% complete. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take these one, two, three screws out of this neck in this mechanic area. And so now that we have our screws out of here, you'll find that this lower peg, because it's actually stuck in the bottom here of this uh, floor section, the electric runs through here and down so you find it may be a little bit unwilling to come out, but it should just lift right out and you'll get to see how the wiring's run and it's taped to this handle here. Uh, if we just set this handle aside, we can pull the other half of this neck section out and that'll be nice. We'll get that nice and clean. And so our next goal is to be able to pull this uh, floor. And so you may have said in the previous part, no, there are nine screws that hold that chassis on. Well. This little guy up here actually holds this floor to this body. So once we remove this screw up in here, we'll separate all this out. You'll be able to see how the electronics run through the bottom here. Floor off, and we're just gonna take this tape and just kind of untape this wiring. That way we can pull this neck mechanism out. Now that leaves us just with this very simple basic floor. And uh, we'll disassemble this to get this module. That's what we're after. So with our screw out, all we should just have to do is just lift this floor off. And of course, we have our nice floor section here set off to the side. And then that just leaves us, or the bottom part of our chassis, excuse me. We just have the floor and this electronic module here. So we'll show you how to separate these two. So to begin separating this electronic uh, console off of the floor piece, we flip this over and I recommend you give yourself some room when you try this. You'll notice there are two screws on the lower side here which actually pin this to the floor. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply just remove these two screws and then it becomes a little more interesting. So remove these two screws here. We're going to set them off to the side and uh, now what you should notice that this module has a little more play. And so what we want to do with this is we want to make this module go through the floor because obviously with this setting the way it is, we can't go down. So we have to push this up. So you'll stretch this plastic just a little bit to be able to do this. And so you may notice the first hindrance is that you can't push this side with the electronics through. So you'll have to disassemble starting from the other section. You have to just pull back on this tab and push this back section through it'll pop out this section will release and then all we have to do is thread these electronics back from the front back through this hole and just thread them straight up and now we've separated out our electronics module and our floor and i'm going to set our floor up here and we are interested in the insides of this this module because it's how we're gonna to get to these guys. 
So there are one, two, three, four, five screws, and we're just simply gonna take those screws out of the back side of this to expose this electronic module. So for me, I'm just going to pull these screws out and set them off to the side. Now we have the back of our module loose, and we're just simply going to start here at our bottom and pop this off. Just be very careful with it because there are two LED lights that sit up top. We have a speaker off to this side. This is our battery compartment. And you can see right away that this has been corroded through from that bottom battery. You can see corrosion on this uh, terminal here as well. So we're gonna take these two screws out to loosen the speaker and we're gonna take this retainer out to take this board up and out. So with those out of the way, We'll pull out this electronic module and uh, we'll pull this speaker out and then our next step is going to be to desolder the red at the top. We're going to clean up and we're going to desolder this black at the bottom. But all of our parts are cleaned up. Well, these are our internal components and we've got our electronics module working and we'll just begin the process of putting back together.